Welcome, everyone, to Inside the Huddle on the Muskie Sports Network. I'm Tom Caudill, and joining me today is Muskingum head tennis coach Bridget Baird. Bridget, welcome to Inside the Huddle. Thanks for having me. You know, Bridget, let's take a let's let's rotate the clock back a little further and go back to the fall season uh, for tennis. Um, a successful campaign for the Muskies. Um, take us back to that time frame and tell us a little about the team. Um, so this fall was really about you know building trust and bonding together. We had six freshmen, so if you can imagine, it was a little bit of a uh, stressful and there lots of nerves going on. Um, I was really impressed with them though. Being such a young program, they were able to accomplish a lot, getting the first win since 2017 and back-to-back -back win since 2012. Um, they worked really hard to be able to do that. And honestly, like it was a great experience being with you know, them. Coming out of the fall, you've got the back-to-back -back wins, you've got some <laughs> momentum. And, and then you went to Florida for the first time in a long time. Um, had to be a great yeah. experience to get the team down south playing tennis basically every day. It was, we were playing at the USGA facility, so let alone, it was like Disney for a tennis player. Uh, over 100 courts there. Hard courts, clay courts, indoor courts, you name it, they had it all. And the girls, I think, enjoyed the experience. I was doing exit meetings with them, and over and over, they just kept saying, I can't wait for next year. <laughs> I mean, talk about, I mean, uh, one thing about, talk about the USTA facility, because one of the things that really gets highlighted for the student athlete are the experiences off campus and how that can make you a stronger person. I mean, no better place to play than USTA. Uh, no, it's not. And I have a few coaches that have now started working at the USTA facility and the girls were able to meet them. And one of them, his name's Elliot. He works there he goes to high schools and helps them implement high school tennis programs and the girls were able to meet with him and talk with him and ask him like what do you do like you made a career out of tennis um they're able to actually get some insight knowledge of what they could maybe do one day that's awesome you know so we go from florida trip unbelievable such a great time to just a week later you know covid 19 outbreak the pandemic coming on how hard was it for you to meet with your team to tell them that the NCAA, the OAC, um, that spring sports were, were going to be canceled? Yeah, so honestly, that week was a blur. <laughs> I, I would never wish it upon any coach to have to ever do that, ever. Um, having such a young team, though, I knew that they'd be able to bounce back pretty quick. They said to me, hey, we can't control the situation that we're in. We can only control how we're going to react to it. You know, this is our opportunity to come back stronger next year. We can get our, you know, come back to the OAC and take some names next year. We take it and get stronger and better, which I was kind of impressed that they came and said that to me. They were bummed obviously that they didn't get to have their freshman seasons and but at that moment I was a little bit more concerned about them all having to move back home and switch to online classes. Well I tell you that's a great mentality your team displayed there during in, in such a you know emotional time time frame. Um, so your team's back off campus as all muskies were for off distance learning. Uh, how have you been able to stay connected with them? We do a team FaceTime every Friday at five o'clock. It's kind of, if you're free, hop on. If you're not, we'll see you next week. But it's not really a time for us to talk about what's going on more per se, just checking in what Netflix series have you been watching? What's, what movies do you recommend watching? Where's the first place you're gonna go after all of this is over? Play some fun games. Not talk about what's going on around us, more just, enjoy it and have fun with each other through our phones <laughs> so coach if i'm a if i'm a uh, high school junior senior out there and i'm looking at colleges and i want to play tennis at the next level what's the best way to reach out to you to learn more about muskegon tennis yeah right now for juniors and seniors out there um sophomores it's a 
stressful time for tennis wise for them and just want to tell them one uh don't be so worried about usta suspending summer tournaments that there'll be other opportunities for me to be able to watch them play um, until then though you have this time get on our website and fill out our recruiting form send me an email text me uh, write me a letter make it personal write about our program of how well, you saw that we accomplished this this fall. Make it personal about us, that will make me want to reply. Um, also film. It can be just a little text of, hey coach, I did this workout today. Um, you hitting against a wall, tennis courts aren't open right now, but once they are open, put your phone up in the, at the net of video of you serving, put it against the fence, anything. Right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out to watch any kids play this summer. So any way you can send me videos of you playing or working out, I will take it. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I mean, it's, it's I, I used to play yeah. tennis back in my day. And I tell you what, that's before cell phones. So there was no way to get film out. Now it's so easy to get film out to coaches and, and, and to get them excited about you. Um, that leads us to one thing, one of the most exciting announcements in my time being here at Muskingum. Uh, last fall, the announcement of the Health and Wellness Complex, a $30 million state-of-the-art facility. It's going to combine academics and athletics in a central hub uh, facility right in the center of campus. Um, how exciting was that news when you heard it, and how will it help the tennis program in Muskingum? Yeah, so the new facility is going to be very impactful for the university. There's many ways, but to me, the most important one is how it's going to be able to affect not just our student athletes, but the students that played sports in high school and you know participate in the intramurals or go to open gyms, shoot around with their friends. It's going to free up more space in John Glenn Gym and in the Steel Center. In the winter time, you look at the schedule and it's booked from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. with the varsity sports the kids aren't able to get in there for their intramurals. They get bumped to really odd hours or they just have to eliminate them all together. We have a lot of kids on our team and kids that we recruit that also participate in these intramurals, which will help us be able to bring kids in of, hey, look at all these activities you can do outside of tennis. With the new wellness center, they're gonna be able to increase the activities that they do for intramurals. Well, I tell you, the facility will certainly make Muskingum shine, not just here oh. in uh, southeastern Ohio, but in the region as a state-of-the-art uh, facility arrives on our campus. Uh, Coach, I want to thank you for taking time today uh, to talk some musky tennis with us, and I look forward to seeing you back on campus here in the near future. Absolutely. Thank you for All having me. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. You go muskies.